that the man whose memory we celebrate today accumulated unsolicited accolades ranging from that which was conferred on him by the Asantehene Otumfo Nana Osei Tutu II to honorary degrees from some of the Ivy League universities of this world is testimony to the fact that we had in Kofiana no ordinary mortal and about whom we shall continue to speak and write for years to come. When in 2002, the Ansantehne conferred the rare title of Obusumuru on Kofi Annan, the reason included his selflessness and contributions to humanity and the promotion of peace throughout the world. Obusumuru Kofi Annan was a world citizen. His acceptance speech on that occasion included the words, I share the honor with all the people of the world through whose contributions we are able to get somewhere. God is not ashamed of people like that because they represent the spirit of Christ by serving their generations and thereby make the world a better place than they found it. In an age in which everything is contrived, and where people pay money for the conferment of honors of various kinds, degrees and traditional titles of all sorts, Kofi Annan remained an embodiment of genuinely earned accolades. He earned his place in history as Secretary General of the UN, Chancellor of this university, Fellow of the Ghana Academy of Arts and Sciences, and a Nobel Prize laureate alongside a stalwart like Archbishop Desmond Tutu. In my own vocation, as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I have found it disturbing that even pastors, priests, and ministers of the gospel clamor for undeserved and dubious ecclesiastical honors to make up for the shortfalls that they feel in their own personal worlds. Kofi Annan carried himself well, with his very personality and demeanor, serving as a public critique of those who seek honor by mundane and pecuniary means. These thoughts were not far from the mind of Jesus Christ when he chastised the religious leaders of his day for seeking public acclaim through empty externalities that amounted to nothing but the pursuit of vain glory. Mm -hmm.